Hello everyone, today we're gonna to talk about loading your push-ups. So, lots of different ways you can do this. Um, first one I'm gonna show you is if you have a plate that you can put on your back. My plate here is not very heavy, but the same principles apply. I like to start on my hands and knees here, and that's how I put the plate on my back, just like that. When I'm done, I can just sit down like this. But, two hands, put the plate back here, Make sure it's not gonna slide. And then set up, and then down and up, okay? So plate loaded, first variation. Let's put this over here. Second variation, uh, if you have bands, which I don't have any lying around that I know of, you can put them in your hands and drape them around your back. So it's literally, <laughs> the band stretches as you push up and forces you back down into the ground. That one's a little bit different because it's much harder at the top than it is at the bottom. So you don't get a uniform loading. If, if general push-ups are just pretty, pretty easy, you might not like that variation as much because you, you really won't get a whole lot of extra loading at the bottom and you're still probably looking for a training effect there. So you can combine the plate and the band if that's the case. Um, those two. Uh, third one, you can just elevate your feet. So this shifts the training load off the chest and arms and more onto the shoulders by inverting the body, but you put more of the body weight on the arms. It gets really hard if you can't, if you have like dumbbells that you can hold on to or handles you can hold on to that elevate you, because then your head doesn't stop you. I would caution you, make sure you're not just losing your head position. <laughs> Hopefully you could hear that. Losing your head position uh, to get the extra depth there. You don't want to compromise your position. You just want to increase the load, right? So. Everything should look pretty similar. You're just at a different angle. Plate loading, uh, band loading, feet elevation. Those are big ones. Um, fourth one, if you're lucky and you're in some powerlifting gym, you probably already know this and you probably don't need this video, but you can put a chain around your back, a really, really heavy chain that could pull a boat, <laughs> maybe. Um, those are a great way to load. I would say one word of caution is that they tend to be really, really loud and they're right there by your ears. Two ways to do that. Um, you, I guess three ways kinda. You could put it over your hips like this, just draping down to the ground. My favorite way is to make a little X across your back. So I put them kind of like a sash or like a messenger bag across you. And then the, the other way that looks really cool, you put them all around your neck and then they're all up there by, by your arms. Then they're really loud. And sometimes when you get a bunch of them, it's like, it's like muffling your entire head. It feels like you're wearing a dog cone kind of. <laughs> Um, but those are three different ways. My, my favorite is the X because the load is a little bit more uniform, but, and it's not right next to your ears. But sometimes you run out of room and they start to slide when you stack them on each other and you need to put them somewhere else. So that, that, that. So plate, band, feet elevation, chains. Fifth one is a weight vest. So weight vest is kind of like the in theory, it's the ideal way. Um, you can, I mean, you can get some pretty heavy weight vests, strap them on. Uh, the problem is they're generally designed for you to be vertical and upright, not bent over horizontally. And so the, the straps don't hold it in very tight and sometimes they just hang down and unload on the ground, which is a little weird. It's fine, it's just a little weird. Um, and sometimes they just come undone. If it's an old weight vest, it might not be able to hang. <laughs> uh, but you got tons of different options there. Easiest or most common way, I guess, is probably to load the plate. Uh, second most common is the band. Um, 
different is and it's still easy is the feet elevation because now I'm shifting more of the weight onto my shoulders. But my favorites, if you're in a well-equipped gym or a really well-equipped gym, is putting some of those chains on you or putting a nice weight vest on you or, you know, combining all of these things together depending on how many reps you're doing and how strong you are. So there are some thoughts on loading your push-ups.